Hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic brakes, what's the deal? Let's have a look. Okay, disc brakes versus lightweight. Uh, disc brakes versus calipers. Disc brakes, here we go here. We've got this the best you can get, the Shimano 785, most powerful disc brake, and it's just on a disc style rim. Disc brakes give you more power. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about that at all, all right? If you're running carbon rims, you know in the wet, the braking surface ain't as good. But these Durace calipers are fucking awesome. Do you need disc brakes? I say depends on what sort of rider you are, all right? Depends, I don't need disc brakes, but I've got disc brakes on a few of my bikes. Let's get more into it. Even the entry level bikes here, this is a Trek Amonda with 105 brakes. These are really fucking powerful. Alloy rim, bond trucker rim, wide, very powerful brake. We have the old Shimano 105 on the Super 6, still really good. These Dura Ace calipers though, they're my fave. Anything Shimano, late model 11 speed, really fucking good. Really fucking good. So you don't need disc brakes if you're running alloy rims. Now, even got one of my spare bikes down here, and it's got the discs on there, all right? It's got the disc brakes on there as well, so, but I've been running calipers all week. Freely's got the disc brakes. Now, for women, I definitely recommend hydraulic disc brakes, smaller hands, more power, especially if you're a noob, all right? Especially if you're new to riding, or if you just got smaller hands, the disc brakes, hydraulic versus cable. Cable are good, but hydraulic, more power for little hands. On my old trusty S-Works here, I've got this disc brakes as well. The bamboo bike, I've got calipers with alloy rim. These work pretty good. SRAM red, a little bit fiddly to fit, but they still work okay. And they're just a cable. My old 1988 Cannondale, these brakes are shit. I mean, they're, they're single pivot, they're really, really average. So they've come a long way. This is my e-bike, it does have hydraulic disc and bigger rotors. You need power when you're cutting a uh, cargo, etc. Carrying cargo, you need more power. So hydro, definitely on the e-bikes, 100%, you need that. All right, so we've got the brake bean fields. Bean chips, vegan. Pretty fucking tasty. Have you had these? What did you think? Let me know down below. The vegan chips. I've got the banana smoothie here, rocking it. One serve, one person. Mm. How many serves? I'd like to have a company one day that has produced a banana smoothie. One serve, one cut up motherfucker. Anyway, so hydraulic, the question is today, slim like TM glasses, hand to me in Chiang Mai. I haven't given it back yet. Uh, should you pay extra for disc brakes, extra weight, extra money, or save the money, save the weight, go rim brakes? It depends, man. Freely, disc brakes, what are your thoughts now? Yeah, I love them. Freely loves them. They're awesome. You just move them a little bit and they work. Yeah. That one's too sturdy. So, I would say that for female riders, or people with small hands, not as much grip strength, then I'd go hydraulic discs for your girlfriend for sure. Cable discs if you're on a budget, hydraulic discs otherwise. For the guys though, mountain bike racing, yes. E-bikes, yes. We need that absolute stopping power. Wash off speed big time. But on a road bike, you not really need to wash off much speed. So I would say disc brakes, no, for the men. But if you're doing Everesting stuff, if you're doing epic mountaineering shit in the wet weather, up and down door into on the shit, disc brakes for sure are gonna be good. But for the average guy, I would say no, disc brakes are not worth the extra money. The extra weight, it doesn't really make a difference because unless you Chris Froome in the Tour de France, an extra kilo doesn't really make too much difference really does at the end of the day. If you're fucking bunching out 400 watts, not many cunts are gonna hang me on the climb. So I would say that, no, yes, it depends. What the fuck's out the window there? Some fucking crack addict walking past. Oi, mate, fuck off, cunt. Yeah, you cunt. Anyway, I would say that you're better off thinking it before you buy something. I would say go you know, with the fucking rim brakes, alloy rim brakes, Shimano Durace are perfectly fine. Ultegra, perfectly fine. 105, perfectly fine. Even SRAM, not a bad brake these days, but the Shimano I find is easier to align. Let me know down below, disc brakes or rim brakes, what have you found worked? What's the deal?